welcome back to our channel folks today we have an exciting project that will take your web development skill to the next level get ready to embark on an incredible journey with our 50 projects in 50 days series in today's episode we will be diving into the world of html css and javascript to create a stunning and interactive frequently asked questions accordion menu Let's get started. All right, everyone. Before we jump into the coding, let's quickly go over what an frequently asked accordion menu is. An frequently asked accordion menu is a popular web design element that allows user to reveal or hide content by clicking on accordion style panels like this it's a fantastic way to organize and present frequently asked question in a compact and user friendly manner today we are going to build a sleek and modern version of this menu using html css and javascript so firstly let's get started with our html file all right so let's dive into the HTML code. First, we will set up the HTML structure of our accordion menu. Then we will create an accordion items and each list item will represent a question and its answer. We will give each question a clickable heading and wrap the answer in a div. Simple, right? So let's get started with our code. Okay guys, fantastic. Now we have created our HTML file and this is how it looks in our browser. Obviously, it will not look a user friendly and attractive because we have not implemented the CSS and JavaScript file. Yet. 
but but we will implement it later let's get understand first what we have written in our html file so talking about this doc type this is the document type declaration and specifies that the html version being used is html5 then there is a tag that is html and has attribute language is english this is the opening tag of the html document and includes the language attribute which specifies the language of the document english in our case this is head tag so what is the head tag the head section of the html document and contains meta information and external dependencies this is our external dependencies that is link tag and we have given our css file path here this is our viewport and this is a char set so what is char set so this is a meta tag set the character encoding of the document to utf8 which supports a wide range of characters and about the meta viewport so this is the meta tag sets a viewport properties allowing the web page to respond you and adapt to different devices widths this is very important to make your web page responsive and we have given a div and a collection of buttons pans and various tags in our body tag so basically the body tag is the section in a html document which contains the visible content of our web page this is the visible content in the body tag and we have given our h2 here the frequently asked question these are the various divs and we have given a classes here like accordion this is the accordion items we have created a multiple accordion this is right and we have given a temporary text here lauren ipsum also in the bottom of our page we have given a file to our external javascript which we have used to make it dynamically so nothing fancy in the body tag so let's get toward the css file now that we have the structure in a place it's time to style our accordion menu using css we will make it visually appealing with some modern design techniques we can customize the colors fonts transition to match the overall look and feel our website better so guys let's get started with our css code
ओके गाइस फंटेस्टिक वी हैव क्रिएटेड अवर सी एस एस फाइल एंड लुक वॉट इट लुक्स ऑसम इन दी ब्राउजर वी हैव गिवन दी बैकग्राउंड कलर ग्रेडियंट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ग्रेडियंट इट लुक्स ऑसम वी हैव ऑल्सो गिवन ए बॉक्स शेडो टू इच कार्ड बट वी विल ऑल्सो लर्न हाउ टू गिव दी ग्रेडियंट बॉक्स शेडो and other css properties so let's get understand what we have written in our css file okay so the first line is our import this is our import and we are importing the url here what is the url this url is used for the text font text in our project so in the first line imports is a font called h i n d from google fonts it allows a web page to use the hind font with different font weights like 300 400 and the swap display mode then there are this asterisk symbol also we have given the before and after selector that targets all elements on the web page they said the box sizing property to border box which affects how elements are sized and spaced in our project this is our body tag the body selector targets the entire web page body element it sets various properties like margin padding and to and to font family and background to linear gradient color like we have given our body then this is a container has a width of 48 rem so this is also a unit in css rem this is very useful to Uh, responsiveness in our application. I would suggest you use use randomly this rem in our in your projects also rather than pixels. So this is our container class. This specifies the element which has a container. It sets property like margin padding and width to create a centered and fixed width container on our web page. Then there is a accordion selector targets elements an accordion is a ui element that expands and collapses content section to provide code style the accordion items and buttons these are our buttons this is attribute this is the another technique to give css using the element attribute like in accordion class there is also a inner class accordion item these are the accordion item in that there is a button this is our button and has a attribute area expanded true when it is expanded then this style will apply so you understand sometimes we don't also need to use the javascript somehow css have some built in functionality to apply the css dynamically and this is our button so we have given the css to our button and this looks attractive in this in in our case the button is position related to display block and we have width 100% so talking about uh, the accordion items the accordion button targets all button selectors within the accordion it sets property like position display text align width padding color font size font weight border background and outline to define the appearance of the buttons the accordion button over accordion button focus these classes this css is used to over and focus our elements example when using the keyboard to navigate it changes the color property to different color to provide visual feedbacks then 
देर इज ए अकॉर्डियन बटन ओवर एंड फोकस एंड दीस आर दी आफ्टर एंड दीस आर दी आफ्टर सिलेक्टर्स सो इन दिस इट सिलेक्ट टार्गेट ए सुडो एलिमेंट आफ्टर दैट इज एडेड आफ्टर दी बटन कॉन्टेंट वेन इट्स बींग ओवर्ड और फोकस इट चेंजेस दी कलर एंड बॉर्डर प्रॉपर्टीज टू एनहांस दी विजुअल फीडबैक्स दैट इज वाई वी आर यूजिंग दिस सी एस एस प्रॉपर्टीज एंड देर इज अकॉर्डियन हैज ए बटन एंड आईकॉन द प्लस आईकॉन and yeah so we have also learn how to give css using the attributes okay so that's it in the our css file wow look at how our accordion menu is starting to take shape but it's not functional yet if we click on the plus icon it is not working as expected that's where javascript comes into play we will add some interactivity and make the magic happen we will write a javascript function that handles the click event on each question when a question is clicked we will toggle the visibility of its associated answer by adding or removing the css class this way we can expand or collapse the answer smoothly so guys let's get started with our javascript code and that's it guys just like that our frequently asked question accordion menu is completed we have successfully combined html css and javascript to create an engaging and interactive web elements now it's your turn to experiment and make it own but firstly we will learn how our javascript code works so let's get started to understand our javascript file so talking about the first line the items so this line selects all the buttons within the elements that have the class accordion and store them in a items variable these buttons are clickable elements in the accordion this is a toggle accordion function is defined to handle the toggling of the accordion items when the button is clicked this function will be called inside the toggle accordion function there are the const item toggle and get attributes passing a area expanded it retrieves the value of area expanded attribute from the clicked button this attribute is used to determine whether the accordion item is currently expanded or not the loop iterates all over the items that is buttons in the accordion it sets the area expanded attribute of each button to false this ensure that all items are collapsed before toggling the clicked item if the value of the item toggle is false meaning the clicked item is currently collapsed the, the this dot attribute set attribute area expanded and passing it true line sets the area expanded attributes of the clicked button to true this expands the clicked item the last line is our for each method we have using on a items this last line adds a click event listener to each button in items collect collection using the for each method when a button is clicked it will call the toggle accordion function to toggle the accordion item state so this is what our javascript code is work in our web page okay guys fantastic so that's all for today's episode of 50 projects in 50 days we hope you enjoy building this awesome 
frequently asked question accordion menu as much as we did remember practice makes perfect so keep coding and don't just watch these videos and exploring new projects don't forget to like this video subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our upcoming projects until next time happy coding so guys if you really find this tutorial valuable and want to stay up to date with our latest content we encourage you to subscribe to our channels and enable notification by subscribing you will gain access to our growing library of tutorials projects walkthroughs and coding challenges all designed to empower you as a front end developer if you have any question comment down below guys let me know if you have any queries thank you so much